Hi everyone, I am Vidya Mala. Welcome to part 2 of Interpretation of Topographical Maps. In this video, we are going to learn about grid reference and four figure grid reference. In globes, we use latitudes and longitudes to find location of a place. But in case of a topographical map, we cannot use latitudes and longitudes to find the location of a place accurately because like I told you in the previous video, topographical maps are large scale maps. That is they focus on smaller areas. Hence, we use a grid system. What is a grid? A set of parallel and perpendicular lines that are used to find the exact location of places or objects or points on a map is called as grid. The grid system adopted by the survey of India is called National Grid Reference. The point at which the horizontal and vertical lines of this grid cross each other is called coordinates. And this grid is numbered from 0 from the southwest corner of the map. And this is called origin of the grid reference. Now these lines that are drawn vertically that is from north to south are called Eastings. Now how to remember this Eastings? You see their numbering. These numbers they increase eastward from the origin. That is these numbers are increasing towards the east and so we call them as Eastings. Now there are another set of lines drawn horizontally that is from east to west. They are called northings. Now to remember them again look at the numberings. The numbers increase northward from the origin. That is these lines whose numbers increase towards the north direction are called northings. Now we have two types of grid reference. The first one is four figure grid reference which we are going to see in today's video and the next one is six figure grid reference which we will see later in the next video. Now for calculating four figure grid reference of a place we need four digits okay and the first two numbers will always be easting and the next two numbers will always be northing. Now how to remember which comes first and then uh, which comes next. Remember in the alphabetical order E comes first then only N. So remember first Eastings has to be written and then the Northings has to be written. Now this is a rough grid I have drawn to teach you four figure grid reference. So as you see these are Eastings, the numbers are increasing towards east and these are northings, the numbers are increasing towards north and for finding the four figure grid reference of place A. So four digits should be there and the first two digits should be eastings and then northings. So this and this are the eastings near to place A. So remember the easting that is before the place has to be red. Remember the B rule. Okay. B stands for before. Okay. B rule. B stands for before. So the easting that is before the place or object should be red. So here we have 21. So that is the first digit. And uh, the, that is the first two digits. Then we have northings. So these are the two northings that are present near place A. So here again we follow the B rule which is below. So the line that is below the object should be red. So 58. So the four figure grid reference is 2, 1, 5, 8. Uh, if you have confusion in remembering before or below, I will teach you a shortcut method. Okay. The capital L method. I think you all know to write capital letter L. This is how we write capital letter L. So what you do is enclosing this place you draw capital L like this. Okay. So when I draw capital L 
this is the first line right so what is the value of this line 21 so write 21 first then to complete my capital l i have to draw this line so now what is the value of this line 58 so the answer is 2158 so this is the shortcut method so whichever method you feel as easy you can follow that let's try one more example so coming to place b what is the four figure grid reference of place b so again you can either use the below or before rule the line that is before 23 and the line that is below 57 so it's 2 3 5 7 or you can follow the capital L method so for drawing the capital L first you draw this line the value of this line is 23 and then we draw this line and the value of this line is 57 so the answer for place B is 2 3 5 7 come on try doing for place C everybody try doing for place C you can either follow the B rule or the capital L method so what's the answer yes the first line is 2 2 and the second line is 5 6 so for C the answer is 2 2 5 6 now what about place D yes 2 4 5 6 so even without drawing the capital L you should be able to find out the four figure now other than finding the four figure grid reference you will also be uh, asked to find the grid in which a particular place is present or they will give you the grid number and they will ask you to identify two natural features or two man-made features or what is a settlement pattern or something like that so we also uh, need to know how to find the grid when the grid number is given so we are going to identify the settlement in 2558 so let's follow the L method so 2558 so 25 will definitely be the vertical line so when we draw L so this is the line vertical line so let's find out which is 25 so this is the vertical line 25 so when this is the vertical line 25 and 58 it is the next line for our L which is the northing so let's find out which is 58 so this is the 58 so now you find out the point where this 2 5 and 5 8 is intersecting so this is our L so this is the settlement so this is the square which is 2 5 5 8 clear let's do one more 2 4 5 6 so this is the line 2 4 and this is the line 5 6 so the point of intersection of 2 4 5 6 is this so this is 2 4 and this is 5 6 so within this L this grid is the answer so the answer is settlement D for this the answer is settlement E now come on you find out which settlement is present in yes this is 2 5 and this is 5 5 so this is the point of intersection so when we draw the L this will be the L and this will be the square so the answer is F clear now this is an extract of a topographical map so let's try to find the four figure from this so the question is what is the four figure grid reference of settlement Palmera? so this is the symbol for Palmera. you see these red squares that are together this is a symbol for a settlement and here we have Palmera. so they are asking you the four figure for the settlement and not for these letters so be careful do not write four figure for this square you have to write the four figure for this square so let's use the shortcut method L so this is the first line for L 
and this is the second line for l so the answer is 6233 often children ask me what will be the answer if a feature like this dry tank is asked when it is located on both the squares okay my suggestion is you see where the maximum part of the place is located say for example if the dry tank is majoritily found in this square then you have to write this square as the answer or if it is present more here then you go for this square but here in this example it is present equally in both the squares so whether you write this square or this square both the answers are correct the same case with this temple also this is a symbol for a temple this temple is located exactly on the line 32 so the answer will be either 6432 or you can also write 6431 both will be considered as the right answer for the board exam now let's try to find out the grid square so what is the name of the river in the grid 6334 so that's the question in 6334 what is the name of the river here we have two rivers sukli nadi and sipu nadi so 63 is this line 3 4 is this line so this is the point of intersection so 6 3 3 4 is this square so we have a river here so it is written as sukli nadi so the answer is sukli nadi now here is a small exercise for you in this map give the four figure grid reference of moti talo m o t i moti talo Number two, find the four-figure grid reference of settlement Wahan, W A H A N. And third question, find the four-figure grid reference of the word brackish. So complete these three questions. Come on, and then I'll give you the answer. so moti talo talo means tank so this is the tank so the four figure for this square will be 6431 next for settlement wahan so this is the square where we have the settlement so it's 6534 and these are the words brackish so 6232 very easy right So that's all for today's class. I hope you all will get full mark in your four-figure grid reference for the exam. And if you forgot to subscribe to my channel, do click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you will be the first one to know when I upload the next video. See you. Bye bye.